guys welcome back to the meal it's Friday in the background you might hear some screaming going on my neighbor's got a bunch of goats right back here behind us they must be feeding them or something sounds like a bunch of kids out there screaming they're kind of funny to watch though they climb up that hill and just fall right back down but they are being loud today I don't know what's going on over there so today on the sawmill guys nothing new this is some more ash but it's a really good log I thought I'd show it to you guys it's an eight and a half footer. The diameter is about 21 inches on the large end and 18 inches on the small end. So it's a good size log. I went ahead and looked it over before I put it on the sawmill and I have it turned for the best way of sawing it. We're sawing this for grade. And if you saw that video the other day, you know what I'm talking about right there. And there's one large defect in this timber right over here on my side. There's another one of those little places that bulges out where the log healed itself. And there's probably going to be either a large knot or a hole in there. We'll have to wait and see what happens when we open this side up right here. So before we get going, guys, I've got three quick announcements. Number one, the next video is going to be something really special. I've got a really nice butternut lined up here, guys. It's actually right over here beside the loading arms. It's ready to go. That's going to be a really nice log. I'll either saw that up tonight after dinner or in the morning. It depends on the weather. We're supposed to have some thunderstorms moving in here this afternoon. We'll see what happens. And number two, I appreciate everybody on Patreon that supports this channel. That helps us out a lot here. And number three, long overdue, I'm finally going to do another t-shirt sale. I've got a lot of new subscribers since we've done t-shirts last. I think it was last August maybe when we've done a sale. So we've had a lot of new people come over to the channel since then. I get a lot of emails on people asking about t-shirts. I don't keep them in stock. And the main reason being it's hard to anticipate what sizes people will buy. And I don't have a storeroom to, you know, to store all that stuff. So that's why I don't keep them here. But what I'm going to do is we'll do two designs this time. We'll do the original OTW t-shirt that I came up with about three years ago, the gray one. And the newest one, which is also gray, but it's got my little face with a beard logo on the back of it. People like that one a whole lot. 
So we'll do both those t-shirts. I think I can get sizes all the way from small up to triple X. I don't think they have anything larger than that. And we'll do this guys like we always have in the past. It works out pretty good. We'll do seven days here of taking orders. So anytime between now and next Friday, go to my website, there's a link down below and order your t-shirt. You can use PayPal or your debit card. All that goes through Square. It's a really secure server. We never had any issues with it. And as soon as the orders are up next Friday, I'll contact the t-shirt maker down in Florida and send the orders to them. They'll make the shirts. It's usually about two weeks later. They'll ship them up here. Then when they come up here, I'll ship them out to you guys. So that system's always worked that well for us, guys. It'll take you about three weeks to get your shirt. They're $25, including shipping. And uh, luckily, the prices on that stuff haven't went up. I checked this morning, and the prices are still the same. A lot of stuff's been going up lately on pricing. So luckily, we're able to keep pricing the same, $25. Now, the 3X is $27, I believe. I think there's like a $2 extra charge they charge for the 3X. So if you get that size, it's you know $2 extra. And if you're in Tennessee, it adds on the sales tax as well. So if you bought one of those t-shirts a few years ago, it's probably about time to get you a new one, guys. You probably wore it out. And I'm hoping to sell about 100 of those. In the past, I think the most we ever sold was 80. So it'd be nice to get to 100 or even beyond that. You know, that'd be pretty awesome. So go check it out, guys. The link's down below. And these next few videos, I'll just remind people that t-shirt sale's going on. You can go ahead and place your order. And another thing to know, all the proceeds of that go right back into this channel. You know, any money made from those t-shirt sales, you guys will see the benefits from that on this channel, whether it be equipment, better cameras, or what have you. So just know that, that all the money does go back into the channel here. So appreciate everybody's support, and go check out a t-shirt and uh, pick one up for you and your husband or your wife. Might as well buy two while you're there. So let's get this ash opened up. Let's warm up the diesel. I've already got one ash sawed up this morning. It went really well. And as far as blades go, we're using a double hard number seven degree wood miser blade. That blade's been on there for a while. It's starting to get dull. But I think it's got enough life left in it to finish off this log today. So let's see what happens, guys, and open up this defect here and see if there's another hole in it. Probably what happens over there. So stick with me, guys, and we will knock this one out. Appreciate everybody watching and hanging out with me today.
friends, let me show you all something going on. A little trip here on the small end of this timber. Now these logs laid on the ground for about a month before they were brought to the sawmill here. So there was not anchor seal when they were dropped. So look right here on the end on the checking and you can see how far in it goes. It goes in about 14 inches right there. And it may go further once we saw into this to see what happens here. But like I was saying, these were on the ground for about a month before the tree guy brought them over here to the mill. And those tree guys and most of the loggers don't fool with anchor seal. That's up to the guy at the sawmill to do. But when ash is laid on the ground for about a month, you know, you're behind right there and stuff like this does happen. This right here just shows you anchor seal those logs as soon as you get them on the ground, guys, as fast as you can, because that right there is what happens. It's well worth having, guys, because these logs, as you can see, the value goes down tremendously. When we saw down into this, you now this is an eight foot timber, but those boards right there that contain that check, you know, you're going to lose about two feet of value right there after you kiln dry it. Just part of it, guys. So if you don't have any anchor seal, go buy some because it will greatly reduce stuff like this happening, guys. This is a real good example of why you should do it. So let's get back to sawing. This timber is 14 inches wide. It's 14 inches tall. I'll probably make an eight inch and a six inch cant out of it. And we'll go ahead and make some five quarter boards and wrap this one up. friends we got the last piece on here as you can see there's that terrible check it was on the end I mean this side right here is even worse it runs in about 24 inches right there so we'll try to saw into this and see what happens but we'll probably have some definite loss on this end down here but on the bright side it's some really nice lumber because this ash is really clear right here it looks really good 
Got a little knot right there in the middle, but besides that, some really nice stuff we're sawing out tonight, guys. In the next video, guys, we got this nice butternut right here. Been looking forward to that one for a long time.